This episode of the anime begins with the qualifying round for the Second Heaven's Illumination Candidate exam known as the Hunt for Servants of the Dead. The participants must find a hidden key within a theater and escape, using magic to detonate it like a balloon. They are constantly pursued by three servants of the dead throughout. The round commences and the tournament organization informs them that they must pass this stage to reach the actual exam. Mirrors display everything to the audience, and cheating is warned against as the match begins and a door appears. All the heroes transition to a dark world, starting the challenge. The audience watches through the mirrors. One of the contestants talks to himself, expressing the desire to obtain the key. Suddenly, a servant of the dead monster appears before him, and when he uses magic against it, it is revealed that the servants are immune to magic. The organization warns that touching one of the servant's swords results in immediate loss and excruciating pain upon removal from the stage. A contestant exits the stage, and the organization informs the audience that only 11 candidates remain. We then see Dot, who plans to continue evading the servants and searching for the key. Slans comments on the lack of clues about the key's location, deeming the test absurd but wondering if there's a hidden strategy. He questions whether they are being observed to see how they use magic and escape from enemies. Suddenly, the organization emphasizes that the servants of the dead are entirely immune to magic, and individual strength may not be enough to defeat them. The option of withdrawal is considered a valid tactic, testing the candidate's ingenuity in dire situations. Then we see Dot expressing his disdain for such an act mentioning that there must be some hidden agenda in this school. A member of the audience speaks up, noting that one candidate dropped out moments ago, indicating the apparent weakness of the candidates that year compared to the previous year, which featured Ren, an incomparable contestant. As the scene shifts to MASH, a delivers a powerful blow to one of the servants of the dead, leaving everyone in awe as they witness it through the mirrors. Mash successfully defeats a servant with a single strike. He then talks to himself, realizing he must quickly find the key. Suddenly, the servant rises again, and the event organizers inform the audience that servants of the dead are spectral beings, healing rapidly from any damage. Mash decides not to be bothered by them anymore, and the servant chases after him. In an unexpected turn, Mash uses his transformation ability to shrink in size, escaping the servant. Another contestant appears before Mash, revealing that servants of the dead have weak eyesight, but are highly sensitive to sound. Using magic, he restores both their bodies to normal and thanks Mash for his assistance. Mash's friends suggest forming an alliance to pass the exam together. Mash is surprised by the proposal. The scene transitions back to Mash and his friend, where Mash is informed about the key's probable location in a guarded area by the servants of the dead. His friend points with his index finger, expressing confidence that although it's an exam, they are likely being observed for their abilities in situations requiring quick responses. However, they should have designed the field in a way that allows us to logically infer the answer. In those moments, we see Mash completely lost. The other contestant asks him what's wrong. Jokingly asking if he fainted, Mash wakes up and tells him that he didn't understand anything. It's challenging for him to comprehend. The other contestant explains, in simpler terms, that they will be tracking the servants of the dead. The scene then shifts to Reem, hiding behind a wall, trembling with fear as the monster moves and monitors the area. The focus then moves to Dot, who is frustrated, wondering where exactly the key is. Suddenly, the monster emerges quickly, chasing Dot, who flees in a hurry. After that, we see Mash and his friends sneaking up behind the monster. The friend instructs Mash not to make any sound. Mash stumbles over small stones but miraculously avoids falling, resembling Michael Jackson in his famous dance move. Thankfully, they escape the monster's notice. They climb a large ball-like structure, and the man with Mash deduces that the key is in the center of the area where the servant of the dead moves. They question whether they need to explode it, and when Mash decides to detonate it, the friend warns him to wait. However, Mash ignores the advice and touches the object. Dot signals the alarm, and the monsters quickly chase after them. They manage to escape at last and catch their breath. The friend questions Mash's foolishness, asking why he did that. 
Mash apologizes, and the friend explains the puzzle, inflating the object produces a sound that attracts the servants of the dead, like the alarms they heard earlier. Since magic can change the size of objects, a problem is how to fill it with air. Mash suggests tearing the balloon, and they return to the balloon area, where no servants of the dead are present. It's the perfect time to tear it apart. Mash touches the balloon, and when it is torn, the monsters sprint towards them again. They manage to escape once more. Then they think of another solution. They didn't expect that merely touching the balloon would trigger the alarms. This means they cannot extract the key from the balloon. But maybe if they break the inflator, the key will drop. Both of them activate this plan and break the inflator. But it proves futile. Could the key be inside the balloon, but enchanted with dark magic? Indeed, if that's the case, they need to inflate the balloon with magic to retrieve the key. Mash's friend contemplates the idea. While Mash watches the path, his friend uses magic to make the balloon larger, leaving the onlookers astonished. People wonder if that man has gone mad, questioning what he intends to do to make the explosion more challenging. The announcer informs them that merely touching the balloon from the inside produces a sound, making infiltration impossible. Then we see Mash walking strangely, appearing as if he's dancing. The audience is amazed by what they're witnessing. Mash quickly performs a helicopter-like move, leaving the faces of the onlookers puzzled as it seems impossible for an ordinary person to do such extraordinary things. Then, we see Mash rapidly spinning to generate a strong air current, inflating the balloon without touching it to avoid setting off the alarms. Indeed, the balloon expands until it finally bursts, leaving everyone in awe. Finally, they manage to obtain the key. In those moments, the monster reappears and swiftly chases them, but they escape as usual. The scene shifts to another contestant who implements the same idea, but uses magic to inflate the balloon until it explodes, dropping the key afterward. At this point, everyone has acquired a key except for Vane. Dot approaches him, trying to talk to him, finding him hiding behind a wall, terrified of the monsters in the area. Dot calms him down and informs him that he has obtained the key. Dot offers to help him, seeing his extreme fear. Vane then reveals that he is bleeding heavily. Mash, with his friend Senpai, talks about their successful acquisition of the key using Mash's unique dance. However, they don't know what will happen next. Mash insists that Senpai should take this key as it was his idea. Senpai acknowledges Mash as a very kind person, but insists that he should take the key, as it was his right since they obtained it thanks to his idea. He tells him that he will leave through this exit, and asks him to hurry to get out, because they say that time is an important factor in the ranking. Mash tries to speak to him, and Senpai tells him that Ren informed him about everything but didn't know he was so kind-hearted. He understood the method of obtaining the key, so he will take care of the rest himself. After a moment of silence, Senpai says he's trying to act tough, and his pride tells him he must do something for people like him. The younger colleague should preserve the pride of the older one. Mash thanks him, and Senpai goes quickly to continue in the competition. As Mash leaves, another person approaches Senpai and hits him in the eye until blood comes out. We see that this person is Karabacho Lo from the city of Orca, and it's evident that a battle is about to unfold between them. We then transition to the battle arena, where the female announcer states that the qualifiers are now entering, each carrying their keys. Everyone enters, and we see Dot carrying Vane on his shoulder, unconscious. Dot mentions that the explosive balloons and magic were a good combination. Mash tells him that he needs to seek medical attention because he has a severe injury. Dot replies that he got the key for Vane, and then Lancelot speaks to Mash. Astonished to learn that he managed to explode the balloon without using magic, Mash credits someone who helped him and devised a plan. He tried to give the key to that person, but they refused, perhaps having a reason. Lancelot doesn't understand his words, and Mash asks him not to dwell on it. The announcer speaks, stating that only nine people can advance to the next stage. Suddenly, Senpai emerges into the battle arena, covered in blood, with Karabato Lo behind him. No one knows what happened to Senpai, and this event is considered a declaration of war. Karabacho low crushes Senpai's skull, stating there's no room for the weak here. Mash approaches and questions Karabacho about his actions. If he persists, Mash will stop him. 
However, Carabaccio says he can do whatever he pleases. Dot mentions that Carabaccio is one of the best continuous students this year, part of the elite. Then, we see Carabaccio throwing water on his face, mocking the weak to remain silent. Mash ignores him and prepares a muscle drink, saying that mashed beans make it easier to absorb protein. Dot is amazed by Mash's actions as he makes a protein shake using water that was about to be poured over his head. Then, Mash speaks to Carabaccio, expressing difficulty understanding him and questioning why he calls people weak when he hasn't met anyone stronger than himself. He asserts that strength varies from person to person, leading Carabaccio to become agitated. The secretary intervenes, angered, and urges them to save the fighting for the exam. Moving on to the next stage, the teacher introduces the next exam, presenting holographic figures in the sky. Each team will be colored according to the figure they emerge from. She explains that it will be a team battle with three members in each team. Each member will receive a crystal and they must break the crystals of other teams. A team is eliminated when all their crystals are broken. However, Mash seems confused and Dot frustrated yells at the teacher, claiming her explanation is overly complicated and that Mash cannot comprehend such complex information. The teacher simplifies, saying they need to break other team's crystals, but Dot still finds it too challenging. V, part of another team, asks what they should do. The teacher hands them the crystals, cautioning to handle them carefully as they determine the exam results. V wonders what Lancelot will do in another team, and the teacher distributes the crystals, explaining their significance. She emphasizes that breaking all the crystals means elimination leaving Mash and Dot shocked since they only have one crystal. Fi expresses concern about their situation, but Dot reassures him that they will protect his crystal. The teacher declares the start of the exam, scene transitions to a cave, where the teacher informs them that candidates will spread around the stage and each team must protect its crystal until the end. V alone, questions why they can't stay together, feeling isolated. The teacher concludes the episode, teasing the upcoming challenges and reminding viewers to subscribe and activate the notification bell for updates.